are, and they had to create this huge project to go with their show. Going along with their immigration planner, they were to write a story about a fictional person coming from the country they were assigned to America. The class was then voted on which character story to represent the class. Enjoy the show! Actually, that is only 3 of every 100 citizens of the world, or 3%. The rest of the citizens of the world stay in their own countries. Man has migrated to different parts of the world since the beginning of history. How else do you think land all over the world is set? Humans migrated across the land bridge between the lands of Northern Asia to the land of North America. They migrated from the far north to the far south and populated areas as they moved. Anupama was only 13 years old when she left Kochi, India. When she was in India, she didn't go to school but desperately wanted to. Her parents had already left to America, so she lived with only her older brother and younger brother and sister. They all had to wait until her parents made enough money in America so that her parents could send money to them to make the trip to America. During the trip to America, her younger sister became sick on the boat. It wasn't bad during the voyage, but as they landed at Ellis Island, the doctors there didn't want to take any chances and quarantine her sister. Although she was scared for her sister, she could do nothing but wait. The her brothers were now in the land of opportunity. They had to wait a full month before their little sister was released from quarantine this year again. It was a very scary and trying time for them. Nupama eventually reunited with their parents, and they all worked together to earn their place in America. <coughs>
is your name? Is that your real name? Many people think their names may have been changed. They believe their names were changed many years ago. Stories say that immigrants' names were changed. They were changed when they came to America. An immigrant is a person who leaves from one country to live in another. Some believe that a name change happened to Ellis Island. Ellis Island was an immigrant institution. <coughs> immigrants stopped there before living in the U.S. History tells us that names were changed. When they changed to Ellis Island, experts say probably not. If it was changed, it was probably done by the Most people came to the U.S. to get a job. Process that took them to two months. They often gave jobs to people's easy names. Many immigrants decided to change their name. They did this to get the job. Experts also say that bosses sometimes change the name. A boss might have asked if he or she could call the worker by an easier name. He or she would explain that the real name is too hard. Then the worker would keep that new name. Immigrants wanted to become Americans. Experts say many immigrants wanted to fit in. They changed how they dressed, they changed their names, and they made their names more American. Some changed the spelling of their names so their names would be easier to say. Some had long names. They made them short. If a man's name was Finkelstein, he may have changed it to Finkel. Juliet from Haiti was lucky enough to be able to keep her name. It was easy to pronounce and sounded American enough for bosses to be able to say. In Haiti, Juliet was a housemaid, but wasn't earning enough money to support her family because others in Haiti were too poor to hire her for services. Juliet and her family left Haiti for political reasons. She had a much more successful job in the United States. She was in demand and made a definite plus that her name was easy to pronounce.
You don't know anyone there. No one in your family speaks language well. When you get there, your parents will have to find a house, a job, and learn to survive in what seems like a different world. These are some of the problems that immigrants to this country face every day. Immigrants come to this country for a better life. For different reasons, immigrants are sure that things are better in this country. Immigrants, many immigrants come to find work. There are many jobs in this country, but immigrants who don't speak English have a hard time doing them. Instead, they have to take jobs that don't pay as much money. This makes it very difficult for them to afford many of the things in this country that they hope to have. New immigrants have a hard time finding health care. Many of them are working on low-paying jobs. These jobs store on health insurance. Families often don't have enough money to go to a doctor. Many of them don't know where to get help because they don't speak English. But when they do go to a doctor, they have trouble understanding what he or she is telling them. This can make it hard to follow the instructions that the doctor gives them. Every Topi and her family feared for their lives in, the, in their country of West Africa. Their safety was a constant concern. Toby Topi had her two sisters, a brother, and only her mother. She didn't have a typical job as we know it. Her job, though, was very important. She was the water fetcher for her, of her family. If Timmy Toby did not go get the water, the family went out, which was very dangerous for their home. The water, although important, was not crisp, clean, filtered water. It was found in limited water holes, sometimes miles away from their home. The water holes had many parasites and bacteria. They took risks with their health every time they drank. Timmy Toby and her family eventually immigrated to America, where water was plentiful and fresh.
Almost 75% come for this reason. Having a family member here can make moving easier. People can sponsor other members of their family. This includes a husband, wife, parents, or children. Sponsors help immigrants in this country. They can help them find, to find jobs or places to live. Sponsors help immigrants learn to support themselves. Some immigrants come to this country for work. Jobs can be very hard to find in other places. Sometimes people can't find work that they are trained for. Some, there are many different types of jobs in this country. Many of these jobs also pay very well. This can make it easier for people to come to this country. Here's the story of Akila. Akila was 32 years old when she traveled from Cairo, Egypt to come to America. In her country, she was a teacher and had a dog named Amazu. But she chose to come to America because of the unstable government in Egypt. She was confused as she stepped off the boat at Ellis Island and she didn't speak the language. Lucky for her, she was able to keep, keep her name and not require to change it. Akilah hoped to become a teacher in America and wanted to live in a climate similar to Egypt, so she chose Texas. Akilah may not have been able to bring her dog to the United States, but the sacrifice of leaving her beloved pet to come to the land of hope and dreams was definitely worth it.